Hello everyone, today we are going to solve the little word question, check if two string arrays are equivalent. Okay, so simply we can solve this question like this. Just concatenate all words and check if they are equal or not. But uh, this is uh, boring, right? So I'll take uh, another way. So look at the given example. So in the case where result is true, I mean example 1 and example 3, the order of character from the first to the last is the same, right? So like A, B, and C and A, B, C, and A, B, C, D, D, E, F, G, and A, B, C, D, D, E, F, G, right? So the difference lies in the position of the word boundaries. So my strategy is um, to use two pointers for each input array, and the one is for index of words in the input array, and the other is uh, for characters of each word. And it iterates through from the beginning, and every time we check if we reach end of words, and uh, if so, uh, update both indices for next word. Okay, so let's see one by one with this example. So pointer 1 and index 1 are for this input array. So pointer 2 and index 2 are for this input array. And pointer 1 and pointer 2 are index number for each word, like A, B, and C, and A, and B, C. And index 1 and index 2 are index number of um, character of each word. So um, now point, uh, we are pointing like a uh, index 0 and a first character. So that means A, right? So same thing. So first word and the first character. So pointing like this. And then uh, compare uh, characters and uh, they are same, right? So in the case, update um, index number of character, I mean index 1 and index 2 to next, so 1 and 1. But look at the, uh, this input array. So now we reach end of word, right? So in the case, we want to move next word and the first character, right? So that's why in this case, um, update pointer 2 with 1. And uh, so index 2 should be 0, right? So that we can uh, point in this character uh, in the next iteration. And then, so yeah, well, let's move on next iteration. So now, uh, pointer 0 and index 1, uh, pointer, not, pointer 1 is 0 and the index 1 is 1. So now pointing B. And uh, pointer 2 is uh, oh, index 1, so BC, right? And uh, index 2 is 0, so first character. And uh, look at the uh, two characters, they are same, right? In the case, uh, update index 1 to 2, and uh, index 2 is 1. And then now um, look at the first input array. So now we reach the end of the world, right? So in the case, uh, update the pointer 1 to index 1. And then so we want to point in the first character. So index 1 should be 0. So now pointing uh, C. And then um, in the um, second array, so pointing a pointer is 1 and index 2 is 1. So now pointing C, right? And then uh, check um, both characters, and then they are same. In the case, um, so update index 1 to next, so 1. And then this is uh, like 2. But um, look at the both input arrays. So we reach end of world, right? C and PC. So in the case, update pointer 1 to 2, and the pointer 2 also 2. And then uh, index 1 should be 0, and index 2 also 0, right? So 0 and 0. But uh, there is no wall, so we finish iteration. So in the end, if um, these two pointers are, are like the same as length of input array, uh, so we should return true. If not, we should return false. So length of input array should be two, right? One, two, and one, two. And the pointer one is two, and the pointer two is two. So they are all equal. So that's why in this case, output should be true. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. 
Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, um, initialize pointers. So pointer one and uh, index one and uh, pointer two and uh, index two equal so all zero so zero zero and uh, zero and zero and then start the iteration. So why? So pointer one is less than length of word one and uh, pointer two is also less than word two in the case we continue iteration so first of all um okay so take a character one and a character two equal so word one and a pointer one and the index one and the word two and the pointer two and the index one I uh, know index two and then compare two characters so character one is not equal character two in the case we should return false immediately so if true so let's move on uh, next character so index one um, plus equal one and the index two also plus equal one and then important thing is that uh, so check if we reach end of word or not so if index one uh, equal length of word one and a uh, pointer or inter one so i mean uh, length of current character so in that case uh, update um, so index one and uh, pointer one equal so index one should be zero and uh, pointer one should be pointer one plus one and then we do the same thing for index two so if index two equal length of current word so word two and uh, pointer two in the case update index two and uh, pointer two equal so zero and uh, pointer two plus one and then uh, at last so check if both pointers have reached the end of their respective arrays so return pointer one equal length of word one and uh, pointer two equal length of word two so if we meet this condition we should return true if not we should return false yeah so let me submit it yeah looks good and the time complexity of this solution should be order of n n is a total number of characters across both words so this is because each character is visited exactly once during the while loop so that's why and the space complexity is i think o1 we don't use extra data structure just a simple variable like a pointers pointer one and index one and a pointer two and the index two right so that's why this is a step-by-step -step algorithm with my solution code so i hope this will help you understand my solution code deeply yeah so that's all i have for you today if you like it please subscribe to the channel hit the like button or leave a comment i'll see you in the next question